Okay, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You've got eight seconds. You're going to do one squat jump, one tuck jump, and then three press ups. And you're going to continue that for 50 seconds work. So let's go. One squat jump, one tuck jump, three press ups. Let's go all out. If you need to do them on your knees, do them on your knees. Pick your press up. If you need to just do a squat instead of a tuck, that's absolutely fine. But you've got 38 seconds and you're not going to stop. Jump, tuck as high as you can, and then get down and give me three press ups. If you want to change your press ups do it but what I want to see is when you're squatting I don't want your knees over your toes I want you to drive from the floor land softly with your knees and when you're doing that tuck jump I want you to jump as high as you can using the core press ups straight body line heads in line you're going to really make sure your form is spot on do this in a mirror it will help you eight seconds come on get one more in six five four come on three two Last one. You've got a 10 second break. Shake it up, shake it out, grab some water. We're doing a press up and a clean and press. So grab yourself whatever you're using for your weights. One press up. I'm going to use the bar. This is going to make it harder. Let's go. One press up. Again, pick your press up. If you need to do them on your knees, do them on your knees. This isn't about speed. It's about quality and it's about putting it in, but making sure that you are not slacking. You have to push yourself beyond that barrier that gets you uncomfortable. Really go. Really go as hard as you can. Now, if this is your third round, your arms will be burning by now, but you are just going to keep going and you are just going to go down onto your knees for your press up and you're going to keep driving. Abs are engaged. Knees are soft when you come up. Arms are not locked out and you drive using your whole body. Get your legs involved. Get every single muscle involved. Eight seconds. Come on, push. Five, four, three, two. You've done an awesome job. You've got a 10 second rest. Grab yourself a drink. We've got some abs involved now. Overhead abs. If you need a mat, grab a mat, grab something to make this more intense by putting some weight involved. I'm going to use my sandbag for a change. Are we ready? So this is what I want. I want you to come up and then sit towards the ceiling and then you've got one press. So you're going to sit up, one press. Now, to make this harder, you keep your feet off the floor just as I am. To make it easier, you bend your legs all the way through. To make it even easier than that and take the intensity down, you remove the weight and you just come and sit up, take your hands to the ceiling and then lower back down. What do I want to see? I want to see that weight aiming towards the ceiling. I want you to not come up too far, just enough that your abs engage, you're in a seasick position and then you really have to really engage the core while you lift up, lift down and then go all the way back down feeling every single vertebrae hit the mat. Well done, you've got 10 seconds. Are you ready? Next exercise, four seconds time, you're going to drop the bag, squat and a press up. So, you're going to lift it to your shoulder, one squat, then drop it down and give me a press up. Which press up are you picking? Have you changed it? Are you going to do diamond press ups? Are you going to do staggered press ups? Are you going to do tricep press ups with your arm close to your body? Whichever one you pick, you're going to make sure that you are going all out and that you are making sure that your form is spot on. When you squat back, check your knees are not going over your toes and that you are going all the way down. Now I struggle with going any lower than my knees because my hip flexors are really tight but if you can go a little bit lower get that squat in. Sit right back as if you're sitting on a chair. I'm doing wide squats. I want some inner thigh action so that's why that's happening. Head up all the way. Come on breathe. Five seconds. Four, three, two, last one. Awesome job. Okay, let's give them legs and them arms a break. Let's get into some abs, star abs. I'm going to use my equalizer. You can do this on the floor just by opening your legs and then putting your hands through your legs. But if you've got an equalizer or something you can use at home, get these involved. These are a killer. You will love them. 40 seconds, head high. Don't put too much emphasis on straightening out those arms. Really make sure you've got a slight bend in your elbows to support your body and don't swing. That's the most important thing. If you're not feeling this in your abs, it's because you're swinging your body. So lift with the core. Keep that head high. Really drive forward with the core and then lift up and try and extend your legs. If you can't, you're just going to bend your legs. But you are going to go all out for as long as you can. You've got 10 seconds left. Your abs should be burning. I'm right with you here. Six seconds. Come on. Five, four. We're making changes today. Three, two, last one. 
I'm so proud of you. Squat and press, single arm. You're gonna need your weight again, so whatever you use for your overhead abs, grab it. Three, two, one. Let's go one arm all the way up, and then you're gonna go to the ceiling. So what am I looking for? I want you to squat down and really drive up using your whole body. So your legs are getting involved and helping you get that bag to the ceiling or whatever you're using as your weight. Your abs are engaged to support the back. When you bend down, you are checking that you have not got a rounded back. You sit back, you grab the weight with your head high and then you pick it up and then you drive it to the ceiling. So it comes to your shoulder, drive up to the ceiling, hold it. Don't lock out your elbows. Keep a little bend in your elbows at the top, all the way up, all the way down. Straight body line and really engage. Eight seconds. Come on. Get a few more in. Five, four, three, two, last one. Well done. Awesome job. Okay. This next one is where we see the changes happening. This is not an easy exercise. It's going to get your heart racing and it's going to burn calories. So put everything in. One burpee, jump the bag. One burpee, jump the bag. Now, if you want this harder, you're going to add a tuck jump after the burpee. Pick your level all the way. It depends how many rounds you're doing. It depends how tired you are. If you're like me, you're on your third round, that's fine. You just take out the tuck jump and you just keep going. But when you jump over that bag, your knees are soft and you jump from the bottom and your abs are in and your head's high. Come up and then jump. Really make sure that you're in a good position when you jump over and that your knees are soft on the land. Protect your joints. You've got 13 seconds. Come on, keep going. When you do your burpee, pull those abs in. Pull them in really tight and breathe. Six seconds. Come on, a couple more. Five, four, three, two, last one. If you added the tuck jump in there, awesome job. I was tired. I took it out. It was my third round. So four seconds. Three, two, Last one. We're doing a bar with legs, abs. So let's go. I'm using my weight. You don't have to, but I would guarantee that if you start getting some weight involved, you're going to see your changes a lot quicker. So try and grab something to add in all the way. So making sure that when you're on the mat, you don't have a rounded back. All your back is touching the floor. If you want this a little bit less intense, you bend your knees. If you want this harder, you add the weight like I do. All you're going to do is lift up and then touch your toes. Don't worry if you only get a few of these. This is a very advanced exercise. But if you can just lift up and touch your toes or your knees, making sure that your head is nice and high and you're looking straight on, that's all I'm looking for. You've got six seconds. Come on, pull them in. We are all out today. Three, two, last one. You've done an absolutely awesome job. Well done. If you added in the weight and you added in the extra moves like the tuck jump, you should be feeling amazing. What I want you to do is hit this again and try for three rounds.